Right, our food shop has just come and I did a massive order. It was £185, which I think is the most I've ever spent in one week. But most of this was on offer. I ended up saving £30 overall because of offers. Uh, so anything that was on offer, basically I watched Jordan Page and she says if anything's on offer that you use all the time, buy one and get at least two to store for later if you can store it like in the freezer or the pantry. So that's what I tried to do because, you know, if you think about it, I buy most of this stuff every week. Some weeks it's on offer, some weeks it isn't. So next week when it's not on offer, I would still buy it and spend more if that makes sense. So... It just makes sense to stock up now and plus I'm so annoyed with things running out all the time every day it's like this is run out this is run out this is run out and I'm constantly popping to the shops so I tried my best <laughs> and I'm gonna quickly whiz through it for you I'm gonna do frozen stuff I didn't get a whole lot because I was worried about filling up my freezer because I need to freeze all the meat as well but we went for some different stuff because we're all bored of eating the same stuff as well. So we got curly fries, hash browns, crinkle cut chips, alphabet bites, mainly for the girls just to try and get Aria to eat some kind of potato. And then mashed potato as well. So I didn't necessarily do a meal plan with this. I just got a whole bunch of meat, we've got veggies and then a whole bunch of different sort of carbs that I can mix and match and find a recipe to use with what I've got if that makes sense rather than buying specific ingredients for recipes that's another one of Jordan Page's tips so yeah I can just put anything with these and a veggie and it's a meal so that's freezer stuff I'll get that in the freezer now so I got some nappies, we don't really need any, I've only just opened a big pack but like I said I was stocking up and I just thought I would add them because we will use them obviously. So yeah, Roma's nappies. We've got four lots of squash, as you can see they've already used some. I actually got this yesterday, they sent me my email saying that these and some cereal weren't available and I was near a Morrison's yesterday so I just popped in and got them so that's how they've already drank that much today. But they were two for two pounds so I got four. Um, so yeah, we've got five tins of sweet corn, again it's something just to keep in the pantry when we run out of fresh fruit and veg. I can just grab a tin of sweet corn and it's one of their five a day, they all eat it so it just makes me feel a bit better knowing I've got that in the pantry when we're literally down to no veg, so yeah. Um, two tomato soups again, just easy to keep in the pantry if I've got nothing for lunch, at least I've got a soup and we've normally got some kind of bread in the freezer that I can have, so that will come in handy I'm sure. Cereal, I got two lots of Golden Grahams because they were on offer I think and then I did get four lots of the Special K but we have eaten a whole box since yesterday evening already um, of the red fruit ones. They were two for two pounds as well so I got four. I got two rice crackles like rice krispies because we eat those for cereal but the girls also like mixing them with yogurt or we put them with chocolate and make rice crispy cakes so they're always worth having in the pantry as well the same with bran flakes they do like them for cereal but also we will make like cornflake cakes but with bran flakes a little bit more nutritional and then i got some like basically shredded wheat but the cheaper version i think these were on offer as well two for two pounds i think some kind of offer then I got some granola, this was also on offer, so I got some low sugar Jordan, um, some low sugar granola, the Eat Natural one. This is mainly for me, but the girls will probably have it with some yoghurt. And then I also got the Jordan's low sugar granola, the almond and hazelnut one. I got two lots of self-raising flour, we can make all sorts with these cakes, um, scones, cheese scones you know you can make so much out of flour my Yorkshire pudding for toad in the hole so yeah stocked up on that because I was literally out um, two lots of cream crackers Sienna loves crackers and cheese as a snack or in her lunchbox so again that's a good staple to have in the pantry if we're low on lunchbox supplies at least we have crackers 
four lots of coffee because coffee is life when you're me and get no sleep and again I buy one of these every week so I thought it just makes sense just to buy it all now um what else have we got a big thing of potatoes I can do jacket potatoes with these or I can make my own chips or you know potatoes are just such a good staple you can make them into lots of different meals I got some tins I got macaroni cheese I wouldn't normally buy this in a tin but again it's just a good staple to have in the pantry I can put it with some sweet corn for Roma's lunch if we're low on food or we could even have it as a meal um on the side of with some roast chicken or something like that and the same with peaches when we run out of fresh fruit and veg it's good to know there's just a can of peaches in the pantry so at least the girls have some kind of fruit if we get up in the morning and I'm like oh crap what like I did this morning there's no fruit um, this is easy to pull out and again at least they've had one of their five a day peanut butter we go through loads so I got three of the crunchy and three of the smooth because we like crunchy the girls like smooth I just bought loads of it because we're always running out we got a big pack of bananas three red peppers and a yellow pepper again possibilities are endless the girls eat pepper sticks with hummus as a snack we could do fajitas we can do some kind of I don't know stuffed pepper for lunches I probably should have got more but I don't want them to go off so I will probably get fresh fruit and veg obviously next week when we run out but this will keep us going for a while I got four lots of diet coke we kind of drink that in the evenings um, toiletries I got three lots of the men's shower gel for Warren that was on offer I think and then I got the Sanex that was also on offer so I got three I got the girls a toothpaste each, I got a deodorant, three lots of bleach for the toilets and I got two lots of non-bio because I'm always running out again. Loads of almond milk so I got three to put in the pantry and then I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go in the fridge. Four basmati rices just to keep in the pantry and then I just got fruit and veg so we've got apples they're easy to grab as a snack um, especially for sienna she's only allowed to really take fruit two cucumbers avocados we can make guacamole and stuff some kiwis i got some mangoes as a change just to switch it up roma's getting a bit bored of the same fruit i think so i thought we would try mangoes uh, some grapes some raspberries strawberries uh, tomatoes blueberries and more strawberries I have got two lots of hummus because we love that as a snack. I got also got some soft cheese to try with Roma to see if she'll eat like a soft cheese sandwich or on toast or something. Two massive things of Greek yogurt. Warren really likes this with the raspberries as a healthier snack in the evenings. And Sienna said she liked it so she's going to try it and then I'm sure Aria will try it. Whether they like it or not I don't know but that lasts a long time as well and it was on offer so I just got two. I did get them some little fromage sprays as well. Roma finds it easier to eat out of a little pot like this rather than spooning yogurt into a bowl, if that makes sense. Um, so I just got those and they're good for lunch boxes as well. I got a tuna topper that I can have with a jacket potato for a lunch when I fancy something a bit different. I got eggs, so 15 eggs. And then we needed ketchup and um mayonnaise that they were both on offer as well i think so i got the big ones two lots of mini breadsticks again for lunches or snacks they always come in handy the same with rice cakes so we've got caramel rice cakes and yogurt rice cakes got some honey for if we do some baking these hummus chips were down to 50p a bag and I really like these as a healthier alternative. They're also really good to dip in actual hummus as well. So I got three lots of those. I got the girls some fruit bowl yogurt flakes. I don't normally get these kind of things, you'll know that as their snack. But I think these were on offer and it's half term next week so I thought I would get them a little treat because we're always always looking for snack ideas because they eat so many snacks for the day so I got three lots of those I got some pretzels again we 
possibilities are endless we can have them as savory or we can make like a small marshmallow mix we can add it to popcorn and make a popcorn mix or we add it to raisins and seeds to make trail mix um, I also got the dark chocolate ones again as a little treat next week for half term we might do a movie night or something because it doesn't really matter about bedtime so I thought we could have some of these dark chocolate pretzels maybe with some marshmallows um, they were on offer as well then the crisps were on offer three for three pounds so I just got the variety baked ones I think I got one of those one of the sour cream and chive and then one of the just ready salted I got two lots of these cheese thin crackers again just to see if Roma will eat them I'm really struggling getting her to eat at the moment she just chucks everything on the floor um, and screams to get out so I thought maybe she was bored of having the same kind of meal so I'm just trying different things so maybe she'll eat those I don't know I'm sure the other girls will though three lots of wraps I'm gonna put two in the freezer keep one again we can use them for lunches or fajitas or enchiladas lots of possibilities we have got some waffles again I don't normally get these they're not too great on the stats but I thought if Roma at least eats half of one for breakfast that's better than what she eats at the moment I'm just trying to fill her up so maybe she'll eat those and then the meat was three for nine pounds again so I got three lots of pork three whole chickens and three steak minces so I'm gonna probably roast a chicken and then have that for lunches mix it with some mayo make a big mat batch of like chicken and sweet corn mayo or something we can have that in wraps throughout the week and the other two obviously for meals there's lots of possibilities with the pork and the mint so I'll just see what we fancy then I also got two lots of fridge raiders Aria really likes these for her lunches and like I said it's half term next week so I just got two lots of those and I think that is it. I'll just walk back around here. Yeah, I think that is it because I did that when I got to that side. So, oh, the bread. We got two lots of bread. One's going to go in the freezer. So, yeah, that is my massive food shop. So, I think actually, all in all, for £185, I don't think I did too bad because when I used to shop at Tesco I would spend sometimes £120 just on one week so I feel like I've got a lot I think I maybe should have got more meat because I'm not sure if this will do us two portions or not that's probably only one portion I'll have to try and bulk it out or something um, the same with the pork I don't know if that will do it's 700 grams it might do two it depends what I do with it if I shred it then it always goes further but um yeah overall main pantry stuff we've got a lot of stock so even if I just have to get fresh fruit and veg and a little bit more meat you know that's not too bad than doing a whole full shop every week which I hate so yeah I think I did pretty well let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll see you in my next video bye guys